Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Six News. Today we're talking about the one-shot headshot mechanic in Rainbow Six Siege, as the opinion that it should be removed has popped right back up into the consciousness of the community. Now this is a subject that pops up every couple of years, and this time it's Macy J tweeting out saying a 2x headshot multiplier would fix so much bullshit in the game, including how grossly defender-sided the game is. And before we break this down, leave a comment below on your kind of opinions on this actual subject. But breaking it down, there is some big things to take away here. So bringing the headshot multiplier down to a 2x, of course, means that insta-death would not always happen in Siege. Shooting through walls and hitting someone in the head as well would not be insta-kill. And overall, this would benefit attackers more than defenders when it comes to weapon choice. If you're picking an assault rifle or a DMR, you're going to do far more damage than a defender with an SMG up against a headshot, especially with damage drop off on those weapons. So this would give the attackers a far bigger advantage when it comes to gunfights, especially at range. Now breaking down the comment on the bullshit, it's kind of hard to do because obviously Macy J is a streamer here and a lot of streamers are going to be very negative against the game because they play it so much. There's literally people who play this game because they can make money on it, but they can't like switch to another game because they lose their audience. So there's a lot of you know see streamers who are just like enraged by Siege. And of course, they're also playing at the top level for a lot of them, of course. So for Macy J here, he's playing at the top level of gaming, which means that in my Siege gameplay, it's going to be very different from his. So much so that our experiences would be like playing a completely different game. Now, he also says that the game is grossly defender sided. Now, at my level, I wouldn't say that's the case. But of course, at his, it most likely is. But also, this is a castle defense game where you're supposed to be setting up defenses that the attackers have to come through to get to your objective. It means you already have an inherent advantage because you do have those fortifications placed and how you set them up determines how strong your potential fortifications are and of course what the attackers then bring to defeat those fortifications. But what defenders do have on their side is high rounds per minute weaponry. That means that for a lot of defenders, they can fire off double the amount of rounds that the attackers can in the same time, resulting in them getting more of an advantage of the one headshot mechanic in the game. So I can certainly agree with Macy J here that if you got rid of that, you would be given an advantage more towards the attackers in gunfights rather than the defenders. So the question comes down to, do we want it? And would it be a good thing? So for me, the reason I kind of play Siege is the insta-kill headshots. It's been the reason I play many of the different siege type games over the years and I'm talking all the games that had one headshot mechanics I used to play pretty much all of them all the way back into the 90s so I love them and I would certainly hate to see that go it's also more uh, satisfying for me being mostly a console player and of course a controller player getting that headshot is very very satisfying as well now back in the day of course I used the mouse and keyboard but Still, it's very satisfying to play with the one headshot mechanic. Now the next thing would be, would it be good? Well, I've got no clue. We'd have to test it and that's the problem I think because you could put it on the test server, but if you've ever played the test server, it's not usually a very good segment of the player base. You usually have kind of a hardcore player base that plays the test server for a couple of days, maybe a week tops. And I don't know if you really get any good data out of it at all. And I don't know if enough players would jump in to play it. I think the best bet here might be to honestly, if this needs to be answered, um, would be to actually run it on the live servers for maybe a week or two. Something like that, where you just put it on the live servers and you go, here you go, see what you think of it. And in two weeks time, we'll look at the data and try and figure out if we're going to go ahead with it or not. Although with the player base from the streamers, the top end players, the gold players to the copper players, I do assume that basically we're all playing very different games and facing very different opponents so i really don't know if we would get a good answer out of it at the end of it and now let's talk about the chances of this actually happening because let's say two years ago i would assume this would never ever happen in siege but fast forward to today and we no longer have cooking off frag grenades and i'm like hmm that is something i would never have assumed would disappear from siege but it has and I'm now thinking many other things could well change in the future that I assumed wouldn't have. So I do think this might be more likely than ever. Although if we're going to see it, I'm still assuming it'll be 
one or two years away at minimum. I don't think this is something we'd see anytime soon, but I do think the chances of seeing it one day have definitely gone up. Now, I wouldn't mind a solution that maybe is in the middle. For instance, let's say that a certain range you don't get headshots with SMGs or pistols, where assault rifles and DMRs are still going to give you a one-shot headshot, so that in close combat, you're still going to get that insta-kill, but anything at range where you've got an SMG firing out of a window of a building or a very, very long corridor, you would result in less damage, so you don't get that insta-kill at long range with the more close-range weapons, because that's why the defenders do have SMGs. It's all about having that close-range defense, because, of course, again, they're defending their castle that they've fortified, so as the enemy get closer, they're more effective. So maybe making it so you can't get headshot at a certain range with those weapons, maybe that would be a potential. The other thing here is also going to be how people interpret it, because let's just say you go to the subreddit after this change, and maybe even it's like six months after, there's still going to be probably clips going up, people saying, oh, hey, I hit this guy in the head, he didn't die, just because they know Siege is a one hit headshot mechanic, and it could take a long time for the player base and returning players especially coming back not knowing what's going on and you know thinking it's a bug and stuff like that which still happens with many features in siege that have changed over the years take rank 2.0 for instance it's been out for a year and there's still many players who think that you are playing copper players in copper and then as you go up in the ranks it gets more difficult where they don't realize it's exactly the same from copper all the way up and they're still confused to this day now another thing is that out of all the popular shooters out there, one thing that makes Siege very unique is its destruction and its one shot headshot mechanic. Because it is a very arcadey game, but it does have those hardcore elements, like there's no aim assist for a controller on console. That is something that is very unusual in a first person shooter, especially a popular one. There is of course the one shot headshot mechanic, there's the destruction. Taking away one of those major things could be very, very bad for the game over the long term because it could just make it a bit more generic. Now, there's also another crazy idea I've just had, which is what about a new secondary gadget? So you give it your flashbangs, you give it your frag grenades, you give up your secondary hard breach or whatever you have, and you just get yourself a helmet that just protects you from the one headshot mechanic, gives you a 2X head multiplier, and it's literally just an attachment you can go with instead of another secondary that could help you survive in certain moments. You could even have it set up so it's kind of like Tarkov where it won't protect the eyes and nose and stuff like that, but it'll give you overall protection around the size of the head and stuff. That could be another way of doing this without it changing the overall gameplay. And a secondary gadget, you could pull that out if it turns out to be a bad idea quite easily. And then it may just simply be that this is a core part of Siege and should never be touched. That it's one of the pillars that should never be tinkered with and it should be left as is now of course the actual like uh, hitboxes and stuff have been tweaked over the years uh, blitzy's earmuffs used to be in the hitbox and stuff like that for the head the neck never used to be in the actual head hitbox for a while uh, buck and uh, frost their big ass collars used to actually stop headshots if you were shooting them and stuff like that there has been tweaks and stuff but I don't know if you really want to change a core element or even risk taking it to the test server or the live servers just in case it ends up happening. So anyway guys, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below about this. What is your opinion and where do you stand on one-shot headshot mechanic in Rainbow Six Siege?